So stick around to the end of the video and I'll show you why Cyber Dragon is better than the Avenger token. Let's get cracking. All right, y'all, so this is ABC Theory on Cyber Dragons. I'm gonna show you the spice, and then at the end, I'm gonna show you a nice little combo I like to do. Uh, it's a three card combo, and it's basically the same uh, end board as the Adventure Token Package. So you start off, you got the three Union Hanger, two A, two B, two C, and one driver. That's it for your uh, for your ABC package. You don't need anything more. For your theory on package, you got the two King and you got the two field spell theory on this Coliseum. Um, that's all you need. The ratio, I was thinking maybe three King and one disc Coliseum, but just in case uh, you need to see that second copy, I like two and two. And now for the Cyber Dragon package, we played three core, two regular Cyber Dragon, and then the one hurts, uh, the one hers, cause it just adds you so much um, just by ditching it with the Galaxy Soldiers. We got the two emergency. I'm thinking about the ratio going from three core and two emergency to maybe three emergency, two core. And I'm probably gonna cut one of the Cyber Dragons out. Um, once you make your infinity, you don't really need the Cyber Dragons unless you're going second. So it's a good uh, card to side out regardless. You got the two repair plant that searches you your Galaxy Soldiers. You could also hard draw the Galaxy Soldier and it ends you with the same board. And you got your one Jizikiro Kaiju because it's searchable, so why not? You got your one terraforming. You need to see your union hanger. You got your set rotation as well. Now I'm looking into maybe playing Mystic Mine as well. Um, just for that extra sting, you know. We'll have to see. We mained the one Harpies and the one Regeki. Now we're going second deck. Um, you can go first. If you do go first, uh, just play around with um, maybe siding these instead. You got the one called By the Grave, because it's a god card. You got Forbidden Chalice, um, Chalice, and Effect Failure. Both could be Imperms. I just recently got back into uh, playing the meta, so my Imperms are, are in the mail. So I would play those instead of those. The two Ashes did come in time, so I was able to play those. Same with the one Nibiru. Definitely great main decking this. Um, I would think of even main decking a second. Definitely at least have a second and possibly a third in your side deck. I got the one Ghost Ogre in French because styling on them. And then we got the two evenly matched main deck going second, like I said. Um, also, a good card to side out uh, if you're forced to go first or you want to go first in game two. So next I'm going to show you the extra deck. Bear with me, still got cards coming in the mail. Um, and I didn't have one card that I'll get to in a second. So Salomon Gray Almirage, uh, Platinum Gadget, IP Mascarena, Nightmare Phoenix, Nightmare Unicorn, Nightmare Griffin. So what's gross is when I made the IP play this weekend, it was my first locals um, in over five years. And when I made my IP play with Platinum Gadget, the only four I could go into was Griffin or else I was going to take that game and push it to a game three with the Despia player. I lost my two Despia matches, came back, beat Heroes and beat Sky Striker to go two and two. Um, but the, it was more about the pilot and also the resources. So I misplayed like crazy. And just trying to understand the deck and the combos, um, nobody else is playing this. So this spice caught a lot of people off guard and I just wasn't able to capitalize. So next up, we played the three ABCs, uh, Dragon Buster. I got the German for the spice, but I would say you could probably cut one out 
and played two. Um, and I'll show you what I'll put in instead. I played the two Mega Fleet, but you would cut one of those out. You play the one Fortress, and instead of the ABC and the Mega Fleet, I would throw in at this moment my Sar Saryuja uh, Skull Dread, just because that's the only other four that I have. I would play Access Code and Appaloosa instead, if I had them. And I would throw in a Baguska. So the Baguska and the Skull Dread would be the only differences in the extra deck that I could really play. Um, I got the one Nova, Infinity, and then the Zeus. Uh, so yeah. Next, I will show you guys my side. I played the one Ghost, two Lancia, two Ghost Bell, Cosmic Cyclone, Twin Twister, two Royal Decree. Probably not going to play those again. Uh, three D Barrier and three Annie Spell. If I go first, I'm thinking of even maining the Annie Spell. Um, I don't know. We'll have to see in the next build I make. All right, and next I will show you guys that combo. So this is why Cyber Dragons instead of Adventure is more realistic inside uh, ABC Therions because they are light machines as well. And you, the end board with the three card combo is basically the same, except instead of a Griffin and a token, you end with the Cyber Dragon Infinity and going second, you have the option to contact fuse uh, with your Cyber Dragon core. So even if you normal summon core and it activates and they affect Valor it, um, you can still contact fuse off uh, for a Mega Fleet and take away their Appaloosa, etc. All right, also with these cards, um, not only do you have the option to run multiples of each to C3 more often, but you also run search cards. So you have the field spells, you have the cyber emergencies, you have the terraforming and the set rotation, as well as the extra monsters. So there are many ways to see this combo and make it as realistic to see it in your opening hand as possible. And most of the time you'll at least have one hand trap in the other hand. All right, so let's get on with the combo. This is how you go turn one. Um, you activate your Union Hanger, or you can activate your Cyber Dragon Core, doesn't matter. Union Hanger is gonna search you out a B. Then you are going to normal summon your core, searching out a Cyber Dragon Repair Plant. You are then going to link off your core for Salomon Great Elmirage, Cyber Dragon players already know this. ABC players, this might be new to you. So you do that in order to use your Cyber Repair Plant. Now, this is live once the Cyber Dragon is in the graveyard. And if you have three or more, you can add a light machine and shuffle it back into your deck. But just by having one, you are able to add a light machine monster from your deck to your hand. So this goes for any of your ABC pieces, as well as your Kaiju or your Galaxy Soldiers. In this instance, we're going to use it to search out a Galaxy Soldier. Activating Galaxy Soldier's effect to ditch the B. To search another Galaxy Soldier. Effect of Therion, this is how you block Nibiru. Therion will equip your B. These two cards are not set spell and traps. They are the other two cards in your hand. This Galaxy Soldier is also in your hand. All right, so your El Mirage, your Galaxy Soldier, your Therion, your Buster, and your Union Hanger are all on field, and you have added a Galaxy Soldier to your hand. Effect of B to, dis, uh, to unequip. Union Hanger effect to equip Union Driver onto B. ABC players, now you guys know this. Effect to banish the driver to equip another piece. We'll just equip a C for this. Um, 
then C to unequip, you send your B and your C for an IP Mascarena, triggering B to search out an A to hand. So now your other Galaxy Soldier is live. And once you activate it by ditching A, you can go into Nova. Now you can choose to do this or not to do this. This is up to you. I don't care about the extra 200 attack. So I detach to special summon Cyber Dragon Core out. This way you have an extra material for IP. Then you go into Infinity. So now your board has two negates. Your Salmon Gray El Mirage can send to the graveyard to protect your Infinity or any of your other cards that you need to protect. Um, you will then banish your A, B, and C to have an ABC Buster Dragon on field. So now you still have two cards in hand. You have fodder for your banish. You have two negates, and at any point you can go into a link four with three materials. Um, whether it's access code talker, you have a dark and a fire. So that gives you two um, cards, two link cards um, to use as um, fodder for his effect. Or you could go into a link three Appaloosa. Um, or, well, you could go into an Appaloosa with three materials. So how it would look, turn two, um, you could tag out your El Mirage and you could IP these two for a unicorn and you have unicorns effect and ABC's effect. So you have the two materials uh, for both of those for further disruption. Or like I said before, you can keep all materials on the field and you can go into a link four. Uh, preferably you go into an access code or an Appaloosa, or you can use an opponent's monster. Um, once you clear your field, you can tag out and you can go into that link six. Um, let's just put the griff in there because that's all I got. But yeah, so not bad. Uh, tons of options, like I said. So if you guys enjoyed, like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.